thanks for taking a look at our vessel Castaway. We've set this up as a regionally capable charter operation. We've got a Scania R480, it's a 2017 built prime mover. Uh, we've taken off the uh, turntable and the hydraulics. It was a fuel ve vehicle, we've got all that gear, so that'll go back to being a very capable V double capable truck. Uh, we've put a $30,000 tray on it with uh, custom built toolboxes by a company here in Adelaide, SATM, they did a great job. This has been set up to take about 40 jerry cans, so it's, it's built to take one front, one and back, all the way across. It's fully vented, so we should be able to carry, you know, 800 litres of fuel in there. We've got a fully remote capable wash down, so we've got a food grade 1000 litre Pelican on there. 5 kVA generator, it's actually a welder as well. Set it up with Karcher pressure pump and a Karcher pressure washer. And we've got over 10 metres of hose, so the way that's set up now, we can get right around the boat and wash it all down. Third owners it started off, I think, in Perth. We bought it from a guy in Geraldton. Um, it's an amazing vessel, very, very, very capable and stable. We took it here from North Haven earlier this year to Coffin Bay for three weeks, and it didn't miss a beat. Just amazing. Um, we wanted to be mobile, so we spoke to a company in Western Australia called Duralite, who make heavy-duty aluminium boat trailers. They were just really good to deal with. They'd done a few of these before. So this is a nine ton trailer, uh, all ADR approved, and uh, it just makes launching and retrieving just a dream really, and it allows us to take this vessel wherever we want. What we asked uh, Duralite to do is put a heavy duty Sherpa electric winch on that. So we've got an Anderson plug here on the back of the truck, which drives that winch. It'll pull the boat up without any motor assist at all. We generally use the motors to assist it, just so we don't put too much stress on the, on the vessel. It's also got a manual winch because I said to them, look, you know, if we have trouble with electrics or we need to be retrieved by someone else, how do we get the how do we get the, uh, the boat on the trailer if our Sherpa's not working? So we've got a manual as well. I asked them to put two spare tyres on. We've got a heavy duty Bartlett ball hitch here. I think they're uh, 27 tonne capable. They're a massive unit. Really, really strong connection. Not like a pinto where you're slopping around, getting shunted around by the boat. This thing's rock solid. It's got a Rogers Willex system through it, so all the air brakes and everything is a Roger Willex. We can get that anywhere in the country. We've got dual five ton axles on the back. It's got a yard release, so you can push it around the yard if you don't have the truck connected with air. We pump up all the tyres and check them all with the truck air. We've got all the air kit will be supplied with the sail. It's got a auto wash kit on both sides, so we asked them to split it so we could get higher pressure through the whole system. So this actually runs water through an articulation system into, or reticulation system, into all of the axle components and brake systems that are subject to the salt decay. So it actually flushes out the brake boosters after every launch. So this reticulation system washes out all of our um, brake boosters and also sprays water inside the drum. We obviously wash it with a pressure cleaner as well. But the beauty of this is you can connect on with the auto washout system we've got on the truck, as soon as you've launched, and actually give those brake systems and the drums a quick wash before you go fishing. That way your trailer's not baking in the sun and getting caked on salt. So the vessel was a 2016 build. It came out with Mercury 250s, I think. Um, the previous owner put uh, 325 Suzuki's on it. Don't be fooled by the covers. That's the only cover size you could get at the time, but they're 325s. They've done, I think, 470 or 480 hours. We'll check in a minute. Um, we've been getting them regularly serviced here um, in Largs North. And yeah, just we've found this to be a really talky and reliable motor, just beautiful.
I've been right through the fuel system of it, cleaning out uh, fuel vapour bowls, and it's just an easy, easy thing to work on. Okay, so the vessel's got two wash down systems. It's got a salt water on this side, which we found really useful. That same setup swaps over here to fresh water. So you can have a fresh water shower on board. We've got running water here, about 300 litres of water capacity. Uh, two main fuel tanks, 650 litres. We get about 600 litres in them at the back here. I've put in two reserve tanks, 175 litres. They probably hold 150, 160. So they're all answer approved. Um, coffered fuel tanks with all the breathing requirements. We've put in bilge, manual bilge capability. So that goes down to the back of the bilge here in this engineering compartment so it can be pumped out with a whale gusher. I'll show you that in a second. Got a hot water system at the front here. All your amps are required, bilge pumps and high water alarms as it's an engineering compartment. All the seacocks have been changed. All the skin fittings have been changed. We've got two start batteries. They can isolate between one and the other or be used for both together. In this HDPE compartment, which we've vented with fans, we've got three 220 amp hour house batteries. So yeah, it's nicely set up. On this side, we've got another reserve tank. We've replaced the two compressors. Both of these seat boxes are refrigerated. They can be run as fridges or freezers. It's got a 5K VA Lombardini an Italian generator. Very good engine. And it runs a Paguro 6000 to uh, provide on onboard power. And there's, there's the whale gusher setup, which means you can actually manually build all these compartments as well. Moving on, as you've seen, great deck. In here, we'll take a look at a minute. There's two bunks up here. Under the floor down here to the left, there's berths down in that hull. Under the helm, step down to the hull, berths in this hull. You know, Sam will have a good chat with us about what's going on here, but they're a fantastic helm station. Uh, great view, heaps of room. So they really do have all the gear, life rafts up forward. All the specifications on this boat will be in the description including the survey and the numbers great seating this drops down also turns into a bed so the way this boat is set up i mean you can sleep a lot of people it's got air conditioning it's got the gen set you got a lot of range um, with these uh, aftermarket extended fuel tanks that have been put in uh, i should say that the extra reserve tanks kitchen area is fantastic Freezer, fridge, cooktop, uh, little wet bar, heaps of storage. You know, it's one of these boats, you're talking about a, a, a luxury charter fishing vessel in you know, exceptional condition, low hours on the motor, on the motors, and a heap of fishing room. And when you have a look at the numbers for this boat, um, I think we've blown away um, what this can achieve as far as clients on board and crew on board. battery chargers, we've got an inverter system down below. So when we're plugged into shore power, we're charging up all of our battery systems. When we're at sea, we can run kettles and the air conditioner and any of our appliances that we want to run 240 on, like our stove. Good sink system, all plumbed to the fresh water. Heaps of storage. We've got a freezer here that needs a service. Fridge works well. All isotherms. Up to the helm. We've got a 
trackball mouse here which runs our time zero system. We've got an onboard computer here which hooks up all of our Ferrino gear. We've got a high and low transducer through hull on our starboard side. That's connected to the Ferrino 295. We've got a TZ2 touch screen here which is all connected. We run a DFF3D from Ferrino which is their 3D system, I absolutely love it. That comes up on this monitor. We've got a keyboard for that, remote control. So yeah, in terms of electronics, we've spent a lot of money making this boat really capable and it's just fantastic to use. VHF radio, we've got a search light, which is remote controlled in here. There's actually a remote for that as well. Iridium sat phone, so actually a Go, so that can connect to any mobile phone on board. So customers, if they need to make a call, you can, they can download the apps and call home and we use that as our instead of our um, high frequency radio that's a uh, shunt that's con connected to all of our uh, victron equipment Colin will show you the uh, inverter later fusion we've got back, uh, speakers in here speakers outside it's a great sound system that's our onboard air conditioner which will run off the generator or shore power there's the Hey mate, we got probably two to three metre swell, a couple foot of chop, uh, 20 knots, 80 litres an hour, 3.7 litres for nautical mile. Still reading fish on the 295. Yeah, and it's just a beautiful boat. We're not even, we're just neutral trim at the moment, so we've got plenty of scope. I'd rather be in this than a monohull. <laughs>